Hey there, and welcome back to National Lampoon Radio, radio for guys and chicks who get it. I'm Leslie Wolf, and you're listening to The Wolf Pack. Oh! Yeah, so we're not going to, like, just skim the surface of what's going on. We're going down. We're going deep. I want you guys to ask the questions that you really want to ask. It is not, that's not a polite show here. But our guests are the most important people in the studio right now. It's Mr. Ari Shafir and his beautiful wife, Allie. Hi, how are you? Hello. Allie is a very multifaceted lady. She's a photographer. She's a massage therapist. She's a behavioral therapist. And she's just an all-around fantabulous chicken. Ari is a world-famous comedian, comedy store regular. Hot. You've seen him. He's so good looking. Hot, hot. He's got really? a Sephardic hot, Totally hot. Go for it. <laughs> not Sephardic. It's not Sephardic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, but, uh, uh, now, they're here in the studio today because we're going to talk a little bit about open marriage. Hey! Yes. You heard me, open marriage. But that's not cheating, right? Well, that's a good question. We're going to... I don't know. First, why don't you talk, how long have you guys been married? A yeah, year. About a year. Yeah. And, and you guys are going strong because I was at that wedding. Yeah, yes. you did go to the wedding. You got, you got a breath freshener, which was in a higher range of gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I got the breath freshener. That is true. <laughs> Wait, can we define what's the open relationship? Yeah, let's, let's define the We can have sex with other people. That aren't us. <laughs> right. you, have to talk, you have to tell each other the day. Yeah, we have to be totally open. We have some rules. Uh, one is that we have to be totally open. Yeah, no lying at all. Yeah, That's which is better than most relationships honestly, because then we don't have to hide anything. Wait, so can you kiss the other person on the list? Because that's really intimate. Was this pretty woman? <laughs> 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 Boyfriend ones that would never kiss me because it was too real. I think I have an open marriage with Jason too because I feel married to him and right. we both have sex with a lot of other people. A lot. Um, <laughs> can you have repeated affairs with one person to where you're having multiple partners, almost like the Amish or Mormons? I know I made that yeah. up. Those religions don't do that. Well, I always got a boyfriend right now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Now, does your boyfriend know you're married? Uh, no, but me and my boyfriend have an open relationship as it was before, so. Ari, right, would you like a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, you have so to beat you. I'm gonna go get it. You gotta beat you. Wait, so this. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> well, who's better in bed, your husband or your boyfriend? Uh oh, dude, he's going deep. Well, let's right. go. Um, more experienced, my boyfriend, but I, I like my husband best. I like Aww. my husband best. <laughs> the words to be inscribed inside the wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> this show has been mind blowing so far, and we're not going to leave you hanging because this segment is going to rock it out. It is Duty Stick, Mr. Jason Duty. How you doing? He came to me and he said, Leslie, we got to get in a dominatrix because I think you've got a little dominatrix in you. I'm just fascinated by it. And me too. Fascinated. And we have in the studio with us, you guys, is she gorgeous? Yes. Why don't you introduce her? She is your friend. Okay, Natasha, how did you start becoming a dominatrix? I mean, that's not one of the little boxes I checked in high school. You know what I mean? What do you want to be when you grow up? Pre-dom. <laughs> but, uh, it's a long story, but to make it short, uh, when I was in art school, I was encouraged to push myself to my edge, and a lot of my artwork was using the visual language of fetish. Um, I saw an ad in a newspaper for a place that uh, is called the Commercial House, where women work as uh, dominant switches and submissives. What's a switch? Somebody who does both. Oh. Who and does top and bottom. But they're all called dominatrix. No. Oh. No. The dominatrix is the dom. You're a dominatrix. I'm a dominatrix. I, do you guys think she's going to hit you? I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> is it just me? Oh, oh, wait, no. You, you I won't hit you. I'll make you kneel and beg for it first. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Judy, let me tell you guys, he has a crush. He's claiming to be all gay. He has a crush on Natasha. It's so obvious. Natasha, tell us more. I want to understand okay. what you do. So, uh, in the example of spanking, the submissive receives the spanking. The dominant administers the spanking. Oh. And the switch can do either be the giver or the receiver of the spanking. I'll take one from column A, one from column B. There you go. <laughs> and so I called this place, and they said, uh, you have to start as a submissive. And I said, oh, my God, I'll call you back. Because there was no way I was going to be spanked. There was no way I was going to do that. And then I thought, you know, do I want to do this because I want to push myself to my edge, or do I just want to put a notch in my belt and say, wow, I'm so cool. I did something interesting in my life. That is so interesting. That's like me not wanting to take chemistry in your life. <laughs> I don't want to take submissive. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to minor in <laughs> whipping. <laughs> what makes you so interesting, Natasha, is you're also an artist. So I'm sure what you're eventually doing is almost like performance art when you're performing for these men. 
You get it. It is exactly. It's a performance art. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it must be a turn on for you to be doing it to them too. Absolutely. On that note, I want to thank Melissa Paul, Mr. Jason Duty, all our friends Adam and Rachel, and of course our guests Ali and Ari Shafir, Stephanie Escajeda, and everybody else. Oh, Miss Pearl Tim was fabulous. We are National Lampoon Radio, radio for guys and chicks who get it. This has been The Wolf Pack. Come back and listen to us.